welcome back to my channel. It is Tamara from TamaraWilliams.com, where we are fulfilling our destiny and living with a purpose. So today's topic of discussion, we are going to be talking about the new 2020 improved vision board. We are doing out with the old and coming in with the new. 2020 is just a magical number. We won't even be alive when 3030 comes around. So we need to take advantage right now of 2020, the magic number. So yes, we are gonna be talking about the new and improved vision board. I'm gonna take you into the process of how I created it so you can create your own vision board. We are no longer doing the poster board. We are putting it in the frame and hanging it up someplace every day where we can see it now i want to take you along this process come on come on now how we get into the process of manifesting anything that we want first we think about it then we have to write it down write it down envision it pray for it that's how you start manifesting the things that you want so another way of doing that is by creating a vision board that's the whole meaning of the vision board we are envisioning what we want we're asking the universe we're asking the world whoever you believe in we're asking for the thing that we seek and we want and you know what they say a goal without action is just a wish we're not trying to do that we're trying to turn it into live action if you look at this this is something from back in 2017 is when i wrote these goals 2017 something you can do if you want to be cheap which is nothing wrong with you can do this as well but i will put it on an excel spreadsheet write out my goals and then i will write down a date of when I wanted the goals to come true and as you see everything that's crossed out and highlighted is something that I did already that came true I had I wrote down a task of what I wanted to do get my bachelor's degree complete my real estate course blah 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 blah, blah. and I put on here the status of how I wanted to do it so rather had a high priority everything else and then I slowly just track the progress of how far along when you put something down and write it you hold yourself more accountable because you made a commitment to yourself when you put something down and write it, you hold yourself more accountable because you made a commitment to yourself. Or you're going to see how many things you failed and did not do. So this is my first level. The first thing I did when it came to writing our goals. Then I upgraded. And that's when I moved to a planner. I had me a little planner with the date on there. And inside my planner, I would write down all my goals, all the many things I wanted to do. I got me a little sticker book and I would put my little sticker on there. You see? You see my little sticker saying make it happen. So just different things like that and I will write it down. Now here we are in 2020. We are upgrading. We upgrading. Okay. You with me? We still here. So now in 2020, that's where we come out with the da, 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 vision board. Like the vision board. I'm gonna take you along with me to the store. You can see where I got everything from. I purchased all the items that I created for this vision board from Walmart. Nice and simple, just Walmart. I got the poster board. It was not that expensive, 20 something dollars. I got the paper, crochet, and all the other items. Got that from Walmart. Then I'm taking you to the house and I'm showing you how I created the vision board. When I'm working on my vision board, I like to sit in my quiet space and I like my candle. I make sure I have my palacento just going. And I wanna make sure I'm in that right type of mind frame frequency and everything is just going good. I would not work on this vision board if I don't feel like I'm in the right mind frame and that I'm in the right state to just manifest. And I make sure that I'm praying. I'm praying for the things that I'm asking for and praying over this vision board and making sure that I'm also doing the actions that I need to do in order to get the things that I would like. Now during this process, I like to use an app called Canva. I go right on Google and find the things I want to go on my board. So like this red car, I got it right off of Google, download it and import it into Canva. And I'm basically just using an eight by 11 sheet and just slowly just putting all the items on there that I got off of Google, either picked out in the Canva system. I take and write down numbers and different words that are important to me. So like I want to publish five books and happiness and abundance and different words that's just important to me. And now I'm just going to take it, print it out from the printer and come on over to my poster board and glue it on. So this is me just opening up the board 
and pulling everything out of the frame and what I'm left with is just a white piece of paper that I start gluing all the paperwork down on and I'm just slowly cutting out all the different items that I need so this is how far I got in this process. I stuck these stickers on, I told y'all, Walmart. And I cut everything out, see that mess? <laughs> cut everything out and laid all the big pieces down first before I put in my little words. I'm gonna glue everything on. Pretty sure y'all wanna watch this cause it's kinda boring. And then we're gonna come back. Once we stick the big stuff on, decorate it a little bit, then we'll let you check it out. I hope this inspires somebody. So I'm not completely done yet. I'm still in the process of gluing. Still had this whole half to glue on. But this is how it's turning out. We're gonna decorate it some more, but I'm getting tired, so we will finish it tomorrow. So this is how far I got on the vision board. Everything is finally glued down. And now I'm just gonna stick a few of these little stickers on here out of the sticker book. And then we will be finished just to fill in a little bit of these white spots, just some motivational things, you know, go here, go there. And I'll explain a little bit of it to you. All right. A little word of advice when it comes time to doing your vision board. I highly suggest you glue everything onto the cardboard and not just the paper because the paper turned very wrinkly so you can see this is the aftermath of how it looks and if you want something to look more i guess just better organized it would be better to glue everything on to the cardboard or at least maybe tape the paper down or at least maybe tape the paper down to the cardboard and then um just work it out that way but I don't know. That's just a little bit of advice because that's more sturdier than this paper is. But we are putting everything inside the frame right now. So we'll be back. So this is how the vision board turned out after you've seen all the little things that we did or how we created this. It's more sturdy. It's something that you could just hang up on your wall. What I suggest is don't get rid of this vision board until you complete every single task in on here. I'm just going to share a few little things with you. So right here, it says, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. So this is just something, just a reminder. I like to be just, just free. Nothing should hold you back from things that you want to do in life. And then also we go down here where we just have financial freedom. You taking that leap, just going. Everybody always has some type of goal they want to do. I want to lose 20 pounds. I know I had people saying, if you lose 20 pounds, then what you want to look like? I don't know. I just, it's, it's something I just want to work on. But lose 20 pounds, purchase land. You see, I had um printed out a picture of some land. And everything on here is just something that I just downloaded off of Google just to print out something that I wanted to do. Right here, I want to get a passport. I haven't ever, I mean, I never had a passport before and traveled outside the country besides being in the military. So I want to travel overseas and I got a plane. Just won this. Just, this was a happy moment of my mother and I. Sitting here at the beach or at the water, watching the sunset, see happiness. Want to always reach that place. And just abundance, just having abundance. If the Lord see fit, I would have a home like this and like this and all that. And my business, I want to teach eyelash courses, just different things. My kids are my motivation, so I got a picture of them just right in the center under my vision board. And it's say my world and my motivation. I want to be a hundred percent debt free. I'm gonna speak to you. I'm gonna speak on how I got out of thirty thousand dollars worth of debt. But just um, I still want to be a hundred percent debt free. And then my dream car and just different things like that. So I hope my vision board just inspires you to create and do your vision board. Do not stop until you keep going and accomplish everything that you want remember if you think of something and you don't put any action to it you will not like it takes work it takes work you have to go after what you want i constantly post motivational information on my instagram make sure you are following me at ben underscore tamara on instagram and you will just see all the motivational content because i'm constantly just want to encourage we got to build and grow together to just become a better version of ourselves so i hope this video helped and until next time i'll see you later bye